someone made a fun house based on my life? Well, as the world's foremost authority on me, I gotta check this out. Oh, sorry, kiddo, but you gotta be five foot nine and 190.2 pounds to enter this ride. That's what I am. That's actually my exact weight and height. I don't think so, buddy. It's okay, Sonia. He's with me. Oh, Dr. Brom. Welcome back. What? You've been here before? Please ignore me. Remember, silently watching, silently judging. Welcome to Ray's Funhouse. To ensure your continued sanity, please refrain from smoking, eating, or wrestling the animatronic people on this ride. They will bite them. I'm not even joking. Well? Are you just going to sit here? I thought you were gonna be silent. I thought you were going to be more interesting to watch. First love, Peggy McAllister. Now, what do you think she represents? I believe she represents herself I'm in this memory. Oh, come on, man. You've got to give me something. Oh, our attraction was... Don't say magnetic! Magnetic. Oh, but I never got to kiss her. Oh, by the time I got down from the crane, she moved on to Boris. Indeed. Now, would you say this one event totally shaped your psyche into the person you are today? Nah, man. Boris is great. Uh, the three of us played video games together each week for a long time. I'm glad they're happy. Ray... 
If you're not going to obsess about this until it eats you up inside, then we're both going to be here for a really long time. This is how I got my first kiss from Arlene. Uh, the date wasn't going well up to this point, so I tried to impress her with a grape that I'd carry in my pocket at all times for just such an emergency. And that actually rescued the date? Yep. After this, we were inseparable. It was love. Hmm. Well, maybe I could argue love as a psychological disorder in Reducing irrationality in its subjects and leading to much reduced critical thinking skills. This is take your firstborn to work day. An event that twisted your psyche into the monster you are today? No, nah, man. This is the day Dad got hit on the head. See, this is why I'm so into hard hats and head safety. It's very important. Blah. Boring old father issues? Gag me with a spoon. Come on, let's move along. There's got to be something less pedestrian here. certain death. Listen, you...
Chess match. Uh, we won? It was all thanks to teamwork. Her chess smarts combined with my enthusiasm for whatever chess is made us unstoppable. This was a big moment for us as a couple. Were you breastfed as a child? Uh, doctor? Well, we're here to talk about chess, not feeding babies from someone's chest. Ray, I know you've got a hidden issue, and I know we will unearth it yet. Rhonda, uh, my first girlfriend. Prom was a great night. Oh, I mean, except for the braces problem. Uh, but like most problems, we solved it by shaving her head. <laughs> uh, high school was a weird time for me. Yes, yes, very interesting. Uh, hey, wait, who is Ted? Ted? I, I, I can't remember Ted. Maybe it, it was the janitor who... Who wanted to be fired? Ah, finally! We're finally here! What's this door? Behind it are my innermost secrets revealed? My deepest, darkest shame? Oh, even better. <laughs> this is the washroom, Ray. Ah, man. Couldn't you have done that before? I don't want strangers peeing in my brain. Well, it's a little late for that. Also, good news, I didn't pee. Ah, oh, man. Now, here's the door with your innermost secrets behind it. Hello? Who's there? <laughs> you have a home early? What the heck is going on here? It's not what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this in 15 years of practice. Disgusting and highly incurable. This is amazing. Uh, Dr. Richards, please. I'll hold. Bob, it's me, Brom. I've got a bad case heading your way. Yeah, totally incurable. Straight into the rubber room. Yeah, uh, hypnosis, yeah. I'm still inside his head, actually. There's all these robots with their skin to... Yes, I know it's long distance. Bob, I'm good for it. Anyway, uh, we're going to see you at golf next weekend. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see your putting get out of that spot. Where... where am I? 
Oh my god, is this an insane asylum? That's crazy! I'm not insane! I've just got crazy stuff around me! Plus the magic hand that lives in my head. Well, maybe I am a little crazy. You need to stay in your cell. The perfect mate. Well, that went surprisingly well. Now to escape the asylum itself without getting spotted. You saw him, didn't you? He's haunting me. He's saying such awful things to me. Such awful things. My imaginary friend is my imaginary fiend. My own worst enemy. And I can never be rid of him. You can see him, can't you? Can't you? Can't you get rid of him? seen better days. Most of them would
Excuse me, uh, sir? Captain? Skip? First mate? Um, poop deck? Guy? Yeah! Tis man that felled the mighty beast, and twas I that was that man that killed that mighty whale. <laughs> At last, the whale, me hearties! She lies conquered on these very shores. Yar. I just need to get back to her. Okay. 